G'day, I'm Mark Hoth and welcome to Swift Almanac. It's been a while, but I've moved back to Sydney and a lot of stuff has been in storage. So forgive me the eight weeks I've been offline and let's get back into things. What has been happening is I've picked up a green screen and some pro lighting, so I should look better on the YouTubes. Uh, I've also got a new Logitech cam, uh, the 922 for those who are interested, and I've switched to ScreenFlow for producing the, the, the YouTube videos. Uh, so there's been a little bit of a learning curve. Fingers crossed you like the new look and format. Uh, I've also bought some awesome Swift shirts with the little logo on it. I uh, probably can't see them, but uh, anyway, there you go. And uh, that's just the Apple geek that I am. Uh, maybe I'll do some stand-up uh, intros in the future. Anyway, uh, I've also bought a brand new MacBook Pro with dual-core dual i7 and 16 gig of RAM, and I highly recommend it. Super screaming fast, and uh, we'll, you'll see a noticeable improvement in our compile times. Uh, so picking up where we left off, last time we'd completed uh, the development of the Apple Five Star Custom Control, uh, or the Uber Five Star Control, and you may recall that uh, it's a bit clunky because you can only click once and if you miss the star then you need to click again and so what I said we could do uh, is that we could uh, turn it into a control which was sort of slidable so with one touch you could just slide up and slide down and the, the stars would highlight as we uh, dragged along so we're going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, so here we are with our uh, original five-star rating controller. Uh, you may recall it is uh, built as a in a stack view, and contained in that stack view is a, a an array of buttons. And we have, um, well, we have uh, an array of uh, five buttons, and they've got a, a width, and they're spaced accordingly. Um, so we've got five stars here and we set up those buttons and we have the different states for the buttons and basically as we uh, click on the button it'll if you click on the third button it'll uh, it'll select up to three buttons etc it works just as you'd expect a five star controller now uh, so basically the selection of the button is uh, based on this target um, and, and we determine which uh, if the third button, for instance, is is tapped, then we also select the first and second buttons. If the fifth one is tapped, then we select all of them. If the first one is tapped, then we only select the first one. So what we want to do is we want to be able to uh, to just tap once on the stack view, and then whichever place we slide our finger around until we let go of the phone, um, it'll highlight accordingly. And uh, when we take our finger off, then uh, then that'll be the final selection. So how do we do that? And we do that with a gesture recognizer. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get rid of this um, add target. So we'll just uh, comment it out because um, we're not going to be targeting the individual buttons. We're going to be targeting the whole stack view. Okay, so uh, underneath our update button selection states, um, what we want to do is we want to create a long press gesture recognizer. So that is the long, we're going to hold down and press on this gesture recognizer. And to do that, uh, we just create a gesture recognizer called UA long, oh, there it was, press, check, press gesture recognizer and it takes a target and a selector. So the target will be self and the selector oh, uh, is an action. We'll type, oops, we'll type hash selector and then we're gonna call it handle selection just for a simple. Uh, Yes, that's all we need to do. And then what we want to do is we need to tell the gesture recognizer how long we're going to hold down before it sort of kicks in. And really, we don't want that to be very long at all. 
Um, but it's got this, uh, oh, what's that saying? No, oh, yeah. Let's create this first. And it's going to take our press, which is a UI long, oops, no, it's not spring loaded. UA long press gesture recognizer. It's elocution lessons. Okay, so then let's do this again. GR minimum press duration, and that takes a time interval, which is a double. And just, we just want to make it to be short, so we make it 0 0.1 or 0 0.2. And then we need to uh, add our gesture recognizer, and that's going to be to our view. Uh, there it is, add gesture recognizer. So what does our handle selection want to do? Now what we want to do is we want to figure out um, where we are pressing and whether or not we're actually over um, the any of these buttons that we want to highlight. Um, and one of the problems is, is that uh, if you look at the bounds rect of a button, it's just going to say top left zero zero and, um, and, and I don't know, height and width 4444 or what, whatever we set it to, 44, our star size. Um, and 0044 is not, is relative to the top left of where the button is, but it's nowhere near um, where we're going to be pressing because it's uh, not relative to our, our view or super view. So, uh, and one of the things that comes with this press is the location uh, where the, the, the press is occurring. So let's find out, uh, let, let's go let location equals press dot location. And we want to find out where it is in the super view. Okay, and then we need a function to say detect which star. And we're going to pass the location to that function. And so let's write a little function. It's uh, going to take a location which is a CG point. And what we uh, want to do here is very similar to what we were doing in uh, update button selection states, uh, only we, uh, we're, we're doing it uh, in this sort of area. So we're creating a for loop and we want the index and uh, the button in our five rating buttons, uh, rating buttons dot enumerated, and then what we're doing is we're going to let the frame equals our button dot convert, and then we got to, you see there's a lot of these uh, points and views and coordinates and things like that. So pick the right one. We want to go, and I'll probably pick the wrong one. We want to go from a rect to a view or a UI view. Uh, is that right? Do we want the, I think that's right. Okay. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, so we want the button.bounds and the view we want is the super view because we've got the super view location, which is what we're passing in here. So we'll type in self dot super view. So now what we've got is we've got our location where we clicked, which has been passed, and we've got our frame um, converted to super view coordinates. So it won't say 0044, it'll say like 120, 80, 164, 124 or something like that. Okay. Um, so now we can test whether or not our point is actually inside the bounds of our uh, button. So it's pretty simple. If our frame contains our point, then uh, well, we can we can do some printing. We can go print uh, star index 
selected. Otherwise, oh, we can print. star index not selected put a couple of spaces in and of course if it is selected then uh, we have this property rating which is the rating for our uh, five star controller which is normally zero um, or initially zero I should say and so we just want to change our rating to uh, the index plus one now we're adding plus one of course because we have five stars, one, two, three, four, and five, but our index here in a numerator array starts with uh, zero. So we need to add one. So hand selection is uh, gonna get the location and detect if we're on one of these stars. If it is, it's gonna change our rating. So uh, what we, uh, and then that's basically all we're gonna do. Um, but what I want to show you is how, in addition, is I want to show you how uh, long press gesture re recognizers work. Because this handle selection function is basically going to be called repetitively until such time as um, we you let go, you, you stop um, the, the gesture. So there are some uh, states that you can use. So press, uh, which is... Uh, here, here I am pointing at the screen, which you can't see. Um, so you have press, and then there is a uh, state function, and here are all these uh, things which you can use. So you can say, when did the press begin? When did it end? And uh, you know, has it changed, etc. So you can do uh, when did press began, and we can say, I don't know, print started and uh, continuing that would be if the press dot state equals is it uh, give me else if no what's it, what's that complaining about? Expected. Uh, there's more, so changed, and uh, well, for anything else, we don't need to say else if dot end, um, but we can say we can say finished. We're going to say finished anyway, um, even it might not be finished. Uh, but as you can see, you could basically do various different things uh, based on what these states are. Um, so let's have a look and see what it looks like. Hopefully we'll compile first time. There are our five stars. And uh, now, it's got the first one, it's got the second one. Oh, on the third one it worked, and it says continuing. So that's good. That's better. Yes, I don't think I was, uh, I think I was clicking too fast, um, but it's definitely working. Yes, it is definitely working, but you need to click and hold correctly. And you can see down here in the debugger uh, that uh, it tells us what's been selected and there is a start somewhere. Let's create a new one. So we click on three and it starts in three and just keep saying star two, it's called star two because uh, of the index, um, when in fact it's the third star. Um, yes, uh, anyway, look, that's, that's it, but, yes, you just need to hold down a little bit longer 
than, uh, than perhaps 0.1 of a second for some strange reason. Um, anyway, that is all you need to do and that's how gesture recognizers uh, work. I hope that's been of use. And of course, if you like uh, or have learnt from the tutorial, then firstly, you should be subscribing. Secondly, you should be downloading the Members for Swift Almanac application uh, from uh, or application app from the App Store because that's the best way to keep in touch. Pretty soon, I will definitely be starting um, our Swift uh, Sundays where we're going to have a chat. Um, unfortunately, the first one that I was going to do coincided with the Super Bowl, so of course. Uh, that was much more important. I'm a Patriots fan and we lost, so that was a bit sad. But in any event, um, we will be staying Swift Sundays and I will notify you all about that through the app. Subscribe and like and uh, hope that was of use.